Draco climbed on. <laughs> okay, hi, hey, I'm outside still. Um, it's twenty past twelve. It's cold. My breath is steaming. I'm in a big hoodie. I'm. St I, it's gonna be light in like three hours, but I'm planning on staying outside all night. So, I will. I will suffer through this. I'm being like bear girls. I am bear girls. Fuck it. Anyway, okay. So some people. Uh, well. Albus and Fred want more readings of My Immortal, so Albus and Fred can have more readings of My Immortal. Featuring outdoors. Chapter 4! Chapter 4! Oh my god! And author's note. I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Enobi, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he's acting different. They knew each other before, okay? Duh. Lots of lots and lots of X's. <laughs> to recap, so Draco flew the flying car into the Forbidden Forest after the Good Charlotte gig in Hogsmeade. Right. Draco! I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. Did she walk curiously? Was her walk curious? Is she like, fuck, what is it? It's like the Monty Python thing. The Minister of Funny Walks, or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony? He asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing colour contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then... Suddenly, just as I, Draco kissed me passionately. What? That, that's a real sentence, apparently. <laughs> Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against the tree. He took off my top and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra. Then he put his thingy in my you know what and we did it for the first time. <laughs> oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm. And then... What the hell are you doing, motherfuckers? It was... You know the drill. This is the same kind of coke. It's really cold. It's not that bad. It's mostly just my feet that are cold, but they're always cold. Nah, show you what I can't see anything. Dumbledore! Uh, my Dumbledore! Chapter 5! That was the end of chapter 4. More cliffhangers. I know how you love them. Chapter 5. Author's note. Stop flaming! If you flam, it mends you're a prep or a puzzle. The only re resin, resin, dumble, dumble Dior swore is cause he had a headache. Headache, okay? And on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex. P.S. In not updating until I get five good revoe. She cannot spell reviews. Revoe. R E V O I W S. Revoews. X, 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 X. Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor Monic McGonagall, who were, looking mo who were both looking very angry. <laughs> they were having sexual intercourse in a forbidden forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you, propounded Professor Snape. I really should try and do that in like a Joseph kind of way, but I think I probably can't do that. I can't even do what the devil is going on here, so I'm not I'm not going to attempt that. And then Draco shrieked, because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. Why? Why? I assume by this point it's about 11 o'clock at night, which is far past curfew, and then she got shouted out for fucking the Forbidden Forest. So why is she now getting on... whatever. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom. Why was he standing in front of the bathroom? She came out of the dorm, I think, possibly. 
Yeah, she she went to the dorm, and he was standing outside the b front of the bathroom. Whatever. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom, and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said good night, and he reluctantly went back into his room. They wanted to drug and kill each other. Chapter 6! Author's note. That is not a word. It does not have any vowels in it. S-H-J-T. Sjit. Sjit opreps. Okay, P.S. I will not update up till you give me good revows. Good revows. They must be good. Anyway. <laughs> the next day I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high heel boots that were black. What a fucking surprise! I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray painted my hair with purple, as you do. In the great hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk and a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore and now he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. <laughs> he had a sexy English accent. Because none of the other people there had English accents. It's not like it's an English, well, British. It's not like it's a British school or anything. And the majority of people there are going to be English. Why aren't there any more? Why? Why are there? Why is there only like two Scottish people at Hogwarts? Why is one of them Asian? Is that not a little bit unfair to smash two of them together? Asian, Scottish, <laughs> might as well make them one. It's all the same. Anyway, when I'm done being racist, he had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him. Kind of like an erection. Only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He said in a shy voice. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter, although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. I don't... Is it... Is it a verb? Are these verbs? Grumbled, explained, and giggled. Are they verbs? Because I think she's having like a verb party up in here. They're not verbs, and she's quite clearly not having a verb party, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. Well, I am a vampire, he c I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah, I roared. See? Whatever. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. That is the end. That is the end of chapter six. I'm just going to do three at a time. It makes life easier. But I've gone off on so many tangents on this one. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to have so much fun editing this shit together, trying to make it make sense. And I probably said anyway about 80 times. That's apparently my thing. Whatever, okay. That was that was chapters 4, 5, and 6. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're not dead. Fare thee well. Reviews, 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 yeah.